Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my December favorites. I do not have a lot at all because I didn't buy a lot of new makeup this month or try out a lot of new makeup this month just because I asked for makeup for Christmas so I didn't want to be buying my own more makeup when I asked for something. So um, that is why I do not have a lot of new things. A lot of them are repeats. Actually, I think most of the makeup is repeats. And I also have um, some more hair things. So it's not as much makeup, it's more hair this month. And yes, I do still have Christmas decorations up because I am filming this before Christmas on purpose because I know as soon as I get stuff from Christmas, I'll be like, oh, that was my December favorites. But no, it wasn't because I, it's not going to be a favorite if I've only had it for like two days. So these are actually all the stuff I have before Christmas time or anything. And then I also am going to be doing a 2016 beauty favorites with, I might include some of my Christmas things. Um... If I film that video like a week after Christmas so I'm not gonna if I get stuff for Christmas and then film it the day after they will not be included but maybe after a week if I know that I actually like love it like I can tell if I love a product after a couple uses so um, I'll be able to tell you like if I had that product um, from whether I got it in January or whether I got it two weeks ago I will still love it the same so yeah, but today is just December favorites, and this is stuff that I've had this whole month, and let's get into it. So we have some makeup items. I think this was mentioned last month. My Revlon Color Stay. Um, you can see in the bottle here that it, you see that? It is like scraped out. Like you can see there's like nothing left in here. Like the only way I can get product out of is if I take it like this and I wipe it on my face. I am like trying to get to the bare minimum down here like I need to get a new one because it is like empty so oh and I also have my empties coming soon too um but yes this is like gone and I love it another makeup favorite that is for the face is this hula bronzer this was mentioned last month too I got this bronzer last month and I loved it all of last month, and I love it all this month. I think I've used it, like, every single day. I'm wearing it right now. Um, definitely a favorite. Love it. It's great. And I feel like you guys, if you are new to makeup, then you wouldn't have heard it. But if you've been around for a while, you know the Hula Bronzer is popular, and everyone loves it. Okay, and also I have this highlighter, and this is not necessarily a favorite. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. Everyone is talking about this, and it's like $4 maybe, so I decided to try it. The very first time I put it on, I thought it looked terrible because... Let me swatch it a moment. Just because... Um, I don't know if you can even see that very well. It is so dark, and my skin, I have very fair skin, so if you have skin that's darker than mine, you, might, you probably would like this, actually. Um, but... Like, this is in the shade Buff, um, and I'm usually, like, an ivory gal when I go for foundation. So I'm not, like, porcelain, but I am not that tan at all. And I would consider myself very fair. So when you, I go to use this, I was expecting it to be nice, and I didn't really pay attention to how kind of, like, almost dark it was. And I put it on, and I was like, whoa, it, like, leaves a strip. So I had a dilemma with that. So then yesterday I put it on, and I kind of, like, didn't... I put it on in a different way and I feel like you have to get past the first layer that is very I feel like the first layer is very dark after you get through the first layer I feel like it lightens up a little bit for some reason and then what I do is I just barely take any on my brush and I already have um, put some lighter highlight on first and then I just stick this on top very lightly and I don't like just like pile it on because then it'll get dark but if I just very lightly just kind of like put it on, like brush it on like this, then it will look, it does look better. Um, I feel like, yeah, the very first layer is dark. I can even tell around the edges that it's a little bit darker and it will lighten up. But this is not like a for a fair skin gal. So if you are like my skin tone, I really honestly wouldn't recommend it just because of how dark it is. Um, but I will make it work. You just have to be very careful, and definitely in the summer I think it'll work better, but it is a little bit darker. So if you do put this on, either put this and then like pile this on and then put a lighter color on top to help blend it, 
which doesn't really look that great, or I just put a little bit of a lighter color, and then I'll take this and then just lightly dust it on top, which will warm it up a little bit, and then it'll look really good. But this highlight, I've seen pictures and everything, and I'm sure if you guys follow, or you're like makeup gurus, then you would know that this highlight is very pretty. Um, it's just... Lighter skin gals, I don't know. But it is nice though for if you have darker skin. I know a lot of highlighters aren't for darker skin, especially from the drugstore. So, and this is like $4. So, I would definitely recommend that, especially if you have darker skin. That is a great option. Um, This mascara, I probably mentioned it last month, this Essence Lash Princess. I go back and forth with this, but this one definitely you have to work with it a little bit more. But I really do like it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I think it looks good. And these lip products. Um, This... Lip product from MAC was mentioned in my 2015 Beauty Favorites last month. I got it for Christmas last year, so I've had this for about a year now. Um, this is just, this is great. And I do really, really like this lipstick. I honestly have gone, I've had this for a year now, and it's not gone too far. Um, but it has gone quite a ways. I'm not a huge lipstick person, especially, like, I don't bring lipstick with me when I go to school or anything. But I will put a little bit on in the morning, and I really do like this one. This one is definitely my favorite. And... I love it all the time. I'm constantly wearing it. I'm not wearing any lipstick right now, but constantly wearing a lipstick like this um, all the time, and it's great. So this chapstick, um, the candy cane kind, mentioned last month. Love that, too. I'm wearing it right now. Okay, so I have some hair items. Um, this was mentioned last month, the Paul Mitchell Firm Style Freeze and Shine Super Spray. This was a sample I got on Black Friday. My favorite hairspray. Like, I sprayed it once, and I was like, this is the best hairspray I've ever had in my entire life. Um, I'm not a huge hairspray person, and just because I feel like it just makes my hair crunchy and everything, and I just hadn't found the one for me. But after I tried this one, this is the hairspray for me. <laughs> I really like this one. And it is expensive, so I'm really kind of bummed that I, I want to find a good drugstore one. Okay, this is the AG Hair Care um, Sea Salt Spray. I got this in that sampler packet I mentioned in my um, Christmas gift guide for her video. And I did try this out. And I do have to say, I really do like it. It makes my hair smell good, which is one thing. Um, but, like, I curled my hair yesterday. And then I brushed it out today. And I sprayed it in there. And it does give it, like, some texture. It give, makes it look a little bit piecier. So, I don't know if you would, like like it if you didn't like the PC look but like it just makes it look very like it, you came from the beach and so that's what it's made to look like and I think it does a good job with it and I have been really liking this. Another thing I've really been liking is this Oblishka Professional Sea Berry Hair Oil and this is for fine and medium hair and I have very medium. I'm more fine than thick but I'm more of a medium and I've used this a couple times it makes my hair smell really good um and I just really like it It makes my hair feel soft and it's been really nice I really really do like this a lot um other before then I was just using the organics brand and I repurchased it and I've loved it but that's a really nice one I think that's more high end too last word I have is by Victoria's Secret and this is their um, perfume rollerball and it's in the shade the shade in the scent crush I believe and I really do like this I think this is upside down I've been wearing it a lot this month and I'm not a huge perfume person it's a really good scent so I don't really know what scents I love more than others I feel like it's just a classic good scent so those were all my December favorites I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for my 20 16 beauty favorites and I'm sure a lot of these will be popping up in there a lot just because especially this one will pop up in there just because I don't try a lot of me I try a lot of makeup but I'm not like the ones where I use a different product every single day I usually stick to the basics so I'll definitely be mentioning some that have been in my favorites for multiple months I'm going to go back and look at all my favorites because I did a favorites every single month this year and I'm going to look back and find the ones that have been mentioned multiple times and I will throw those in there and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my 2016 beauty favorites bye bye